younger brother, commander of raiders, Jarl of Latinum, and now king. There had never been much that he hadn't accomplished in his life. He was someone who was never expected to rule a kingdom, but now he was a ruler who had taken war to the Byzantines and defeated them. He was king. There was that fall of a nephew, but he was too idiotic to even properly face him. He had accepted his empty wastelands to the north and gone there with his tail tucked and not so much as a whimper. But what Asbjorn had achieved so far wasn't enough. His father had founded their great kingdom, made the Serbs, Croats and Bosnians all bow before the might of the Norsemen. But that had not been enough. Revenge had been taken upon Duke Guy, the Italians further crushed, and even their holy city taken, sacked and made his seat. There had been nothing that stood in their way until his father had eventually perished. Then there had been his brother, who had grown their kingdom in strength and had their first encounter with the so-called Muslims from the south, just as weak-willed as the Christians in his mind. Then there had been the greatest raid that they had ever seen, with the lands of the Nile sacked and their riches taken for their own, a harsh reminder to the Muslims as to the strength of their lands and people. And then there was him. He was aging, old already when the throne had passed to him, but he had been the most able commander of his brother's forces, being more like their father than his nephew or anyone else of his blood. Already he had defeated the Byzantines, delivering them a great defeat, but there would be more challenges to come. He needed something to mark him as king. He had a thrall summon his heir Striker, old and fierce, yet he was always that boy that he had first held when he came into the world. The future king did not seem pleased at all by the summoning. What need do you have of me? He looked out at the lands in front of them. Tell me, son, what do you see? Striker looked confused at first, before shrugging and walking over to stand next to his father. I see hills, plains, mountains, and a city. I see Safir land, our land, our people. As Bjongra a smile. Very good, but I see more than that. There is far more than just what you see with the eye. Have you ever heard the Christians talk of a man named Charlemagne? He hissed. Why the fuck would I care about some Christian man who believed in some false gods? Why should he be of relevance to me, to us? He was a conqueror. He spoke, ignoring the angry words from his son conquered half of Europe and founded a large empire. Then, his grandsons made it collapse into East Francia, West Francia in Italy. And why should I care? Or better yet, why do you care? Because they fight for his legacy, but we hold their holy city and are growing in strength. East and West Francia are the strongest Christian kingdoms remaining, and they need to be crushed. Warfare was something that Stryker understood, and it gave the man a smile. So who shall we be facing? East Francia first, but there will be more to come, and that would be his legacy as king. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Raiders of the Adriatic with King Asbjorn II. We're currently at peace. In the last episode, we did take the Yaldum of Verona, meaning there's just this tiny, tiny bit here left, and then we finally link up all of the Adriatic up this top bit. There's still this bit that we could probably do with taking, and our Jarl is currently taking this area here. So, yeah, we literally just need Sicily, I think, this last bit here. And then we do truly own all of the Adriatic Sea, which is absolutely awesome. I'm not sure if we should go to War of East Francia at some point. They are fairly strong. They could get a lot more manpower when they replenish, but um, they have reconquered Bav uh, Bavaria now. But... Yeah, this, I don't know if I'd like to get this duchy here. It's south of these mountains, so it would make uh, sense law-wise and realistically. If we could take this bit here, we've got the mountains to defend our northern border. And then if we can take this bit as well, and that will link everything really nicely in this northern section. Let's have a look what we could do with that. We can declare war on her to the Holy War for the duchy. And yeah, take that. That would be a very nice border in my opinion if we could take that. And then take this little bit of land in between. I think that's a very nice border. All of the Adriatic Sea. We own every coast in the Adriatic Sea. All we'd have to take is this southern area of Sicily down here from the Byzantine Empire. Which we should be able to do at some point. They're pretty weakened to be honest. I think we will go for this. Let's 
yeah why not let's let's go straight for that war on queen richara does she have any allies she's allied to the duke of orsberg well he's in one of her vassals anyway and then she's got two truces so yeah she's not really got any allies she's not got any gold either she's in debt so she can't hire mercenaries her husband looks insanely young 23 63 what a cougar this guy's like yeah I'll, I'll i'll get with you and then take your kingdom when you die very soon um right so let's raise a rally point on the border and at this rally point we will raise all of our men i don't think we're going to need to hire any mercenaries or the holy order or anything i think the four thousand men should be should be more than enough we're still raising more manpower yes yeah, so let's unpause and start raising that hopefully Jarl Halston is going to soon win this war. He's at 61%. He's got loads, loads more manpower. So hopefully he is going to take this duchy here. And that's going to give us so much control over the Adriatic Sea. Um, of course, we didn't plan going so far west so early. But our vassals are acting for us already. So yeah, we do have the landing around, around Algeria, I think. As well as Sardinia. Well, um, So hopefully we can take the rest of this island at some point. This northern island. Um, we could maybe take these three islands here as well at one point. Majorca, Menorca and um, Ibiza. That could be interesting. But our vassal, our armies are now raised. So let's march straight on to this mountain barony. And let's move our other host on to this barony. Let's get both of these under siege. Uh, we've managed to sway our priestess, which is good. We do need to get her more on side. We've just got to wait till our true sense so we can take this. Unless one of our vassals were to take it for us first, that would be even better if maybe our new um Jarl of Verona was to take it or the Jarl of Venice who knows but it would be good if one of them take it for us but I just don't think it would have looked right if we took this and then it swayed in and around I think it will look a lot better if we take this bit south of the mountain please let me know what you guys think of course in the comments and whether you agree where you think we should expand our borders next but I think that will have a nice it'll have some nice borders I think. I think it'll look nice. I would call our ally, but we don't want to. Not much else has changed there, I don't think. The Holy Order has been hired by the Queen of Italy again. She's constantly hiring that. Who's she at war with now? We'll have a look at it in a second. Uh, following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my ward Carl what he thought. He responded that the sentence was far too harsh for such a small crime. Let's have a look at you, Carl. Um... Why have you got an intrigue education when we're training you? You want a martial education. Stupid. But, um, his punishment did not fit the crime. He keeps the trait just. Yes, definitely. A great trait to have. My ward, Carl, has changed his focus of study. He now pursues knowledge in the art of warfare. Perfect. Who is the Queen of Italy now at war with? She is defending against, uh, okay, the county of Genoa, so... Um, yeah, she's defending against Genoa yet again. Interesting. Not to worry about it ourselves. It's nothing to do with us. We've got our own stuff to concentrate on. First time that we have gone to war with East Francia, I think, actually, considering we've been so close for so long. Of course, we do border them all along now, but we do have the mountains here to hopefully deter them, or at least when we do fight them, to... Um, manage to push them back easier concerns for my current war my friend Halla has paid out of her own treasury to aid in the efforts 75 gold and 10 stress lost awesome i love how you actually get a decent amount of gold now 75 gold that's decent i remember in ck2 it was always like 10 gold it's like what the hell can i do with 10 gold and your class has died of natural causes at age 28 that sucks but at least he does have plenty of sons unlike gunner so who is the new Yarl, Yarl, Carl, oh, it's the guy that we was actually training, so that's perfect, really, that he's our ward. Let's pin him, make him important, and see how he gets on. Right, let's continue our sieges then. So, we won't split our armies too much. We'll take our time with this war. We don't want to take any unnecessary risks. I could step then again. I think if we march up around here, we're probably going to lose some attrition there, so it's probably best that we don't. An unforeseen tragedy. Um, Clotilde, the spouse of my son and heir striker, has passed away. Uh, all those carefully crafted plans have been crushed by Hell's fickle impulses, though such complaints might seem a petty insubstantial compared to her family's pain. At least it isn't our actual son that's died. It's like his concubine. I think it's only his concubine. Rest in peace. It doesn't really 
concern us that much, does it, to be honest? I don't know why there's such a big fuss. And what is this civil war that we've got going on now? Um, Jarl um, Ofeg is fighting again, defending against Chieftain Orvar Larson. Oh, it's another family member. Okay. We'll leave them to it. We'll leave them to their family affairs there. It looks like the wars for Bulgaria and such have finally calmed down. So that's good. What are these ships here? Neutral armies, nothing to do with us. That's fine. We will continue with our plans up here. And this is about to fall, which is perfect. I think I'll march up into the mountains and take the mountain baronies first. At least then we have the good defences. Not that many people can actually harm us in battle. Um, let's change you out for our son. Okay. He cannot land... Oh, he's already commanding another army. I wonder who he's at war with then. Um, we'll leave that as it is for now then. Why not? And we've gained 4 gold and 17 gold from those sieges. And we've also taken a prisoner in the siege. Perfect. Let's march onto this barony. And can you march onto that barony? Oh, we can't march onto that barony. Can we march to this one instead? Yes, we can. Perfect. Without losing any penalties and such. Um, we can rent some you for 10 gold. You're only a count. You're barbarian. You're a Catholic. Um, yeah, let's ransom you. Why not? 10 gold. You're not very powerful. Not much use or interest. We may as well take the gold. And they paid the ransom. Perfect. Now let's just concentrate on these two sieges. Um, yeah, we can't station any sieges just now, so we may as well wait. Ah, the Barony of Wolfsburg. Nice. And we've unlocked a martial lifestyle perk, which is perfect. That means that we can now unlock the Overseer trait. Awesome. We filled out two trees. Will we be able to fill out a third before we die? I doubt it. We are about 63, 64 now. No, 65. Wow. Older than we f I thought. That means we've already ruled for like four or five years. That time has flew by. How is Halston doing in his war? 61% still. What's he messing around? He's taken a long time to win this war. He has, of course, still got a hell of a lot of men. 5,000 against 2,000. So, yeah, he's just got to finish it off. There's a lot of battles going on down here by the looks of it. I want to know who's... Whose army are you leading? You are in a war attacking King Ered of Aquitaine in the Holy War for the county of Menorca. Oh, interesting. Whose war's that? Oh, Jarl Sven. So he wants to take more islands in the Mediterranean. Interesting. I've got a lot more manpower. That's going to be interesting if he can take that land. Very nice. Gives us more control over the Mediterranean. Expanding more further than we wanted, but the realm... I think the realm will split at some point. I don't think we're going to be able to keep growing at this rate without having some sort of civil wars and conflicts kicking off at some point in the future. And both of those sieges are out of the way, which is perfect. We've managed to take some prisoners. There's still no sign of the East Frankian army. Let's mark on to this area here to siege it. And can we get away with marching up to there? We can. Aha, here comes the East Frankian army. Do you know what then? Stay in this mountain pass for now. And we should be pretty secure there. Are they going to march on to us? Ah, they have enough manpower here. Right, okay. Let's march our army. Hmm. Yeah, let's march our army straight through to the mountains there. Faction has been disbanded that's targeting us. That is good. Do you know what? Yeah, we'll... If you can march there. There we go. We're going to get into a battle with the smaller host, which is perfect. And we'll, can we station some besiegers here? Perfect. And march the rest of that host that way. There we go. And we can join those together in a bigger host, which can then chase down this other East Frankian army, which is perfect. We've split their armies in two with a mountain defense. Perfect. Here we go. And they have decided to turn around, but we've got 4,200 men there, led by the king himself. It's going to be a slaughter, isn't it, in my opinion? We should be perfectly fine. I don't think they're going to get back in time to help. Our champion yard striker ripped the head off of Prince Hans. Perfect. Ripped the head off of Frankie and Prince. Even better. And our champion yard striker ripped the head off of Duke Guf uh, Gunther the second. So he's had a good fight. And it doesn't look like the reinforcements are going to get here in time. No. They're going to arrive afterwards to a slaughter. Here we go for a second battle, which is also going to be a slaughter perfect. That's going to give us a hell of a lot of war score. Our champion Jarl Ugbjorn killed Count Ewod. Wow, Ugbjorn's actually fighting. Maybe he's not as useless as we thought, and our champion also ripped the head off someone else. Right, let's merge our armies together, those 4,000 for now. And yeah, let's just march up into this bishopric here. Um, right, let's have a look at the details for this war. Yeah, we didn't lose really any men at all. 
our champions, Duke Alexander, killed 92 people. Wow, and Jarl Striker killed 82. Jarl Sigbion of Kapua killed 59. Oh my god, 92 people Rasputin killed. That is insane. That puts us at 77% war score just by winning those two. So that's pretty awesome. Let's march onto this barony then. If we can get that under siege, that's probably going to win us the war. And our nephew was slain at Chieftain... Wow, I'm not even going to try and say that name. Is he pinned? No, he's not. So it's not really of importance to us. It's no one of importance. But yeah, let's get this barony under siege. We'll station some besiegers there, actually. And then we'll probably chase down the Frankian army. Let's have a look. Right. Station besiegers. Let's march into this mounting here. And we can hopefully take down anyone that they send our way that way. Let's put another commander in charge of this host. What is this? Is this an enemy army? No, it's a neutral army. It's just some raiders. That's fine. If we keep our eye on the main host, led by Asbjorn. I know that we're the siege leader, but I'll keep us in charge of this. There's no rush. We're easily going to hopefully win this war now. Let's have a look at those prisoners. I thought that we had a, mis a prisoner. Asta Vamuli can marry. Who is this? Our granddaughter. Oh, she's a dwarf. I'm going to say she looks awfully small for a 16-year-old. Um... Got Count Aretha of Verbus. He, hmm, maybe. Um, yeah, we've got an intelligent guy here. Let's just go for him. He's not a Yarl or anything, so at least none of the Yarls are going to get the Dwarf trait. That's good. Looks good to me. How are you doing down here now, Hoston? Have you won this war yet? You're taking so long. 61%. What are you playing at? You're taking forever to take that land. Um, to the benign, Asbjorn, I gladly accept your proposal for a marriage. Perfect. And here comes the East Frankian army. They're going to make their way through this mountain pass, so we will march south with our main host and try and cut them off. Do you know what? We'll just meet them in the mountains. We've got more than enough manpower to win that without having to worry about it. We're being raided, which is rather annoying. How dare someone raid the raiders of the Adriatic? But here we go. We're going to slaughter this East Frankian army, which will probably give us the victory. Unless the castles fall first. It's going to be close either way. But yeah, it's a slaughter. Absolute slaughter. Even with the reinforcements, it's going to be a complete slaughter. Our champion Jarl Striker ripped the head off of Count uh, Lewitpold. And our champion Duke Alexandra ripped the head off of Count Etico. Awesome. Slaughter. Is this going to give us the 100% that we need? Hopefully it will. Or at least get us over the 90. And our alliance with Jarl Harston has ended... Let's see how that battle went. We lost 215 men. They lost over 1,000. Let's look at the details. See who got the most kills. Duke Alexander Rasputin got 52 kills. And Jarl Stryker got 46. Jarl Sigbjorn 34. So pretty much the same. Jarl 25. Maybe he's not that useless. Maybe we do him a disservice. Let's see. Can we enforce demands? I don't know if we've got the right trait. No, we can't. That's okay. As soon as these castles fall, we've got the 100% that we need anyway. And there we go. And we've got a lot of gold for it as well. As well as capturing some dukes and duchesses. So that's perfect. Let's enforce our demands. To the loathsome King Asbjorn, may your years be short and miserable. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. Right. Perfect. We're not going to be able to disband our army because there are raiders, I believe, in our lands. Yes, there is. So let's just... Let's just march them south for now, but there we go. We've got that new nice bit of land, and yeah, that border does look a lot better if we can take this now. So, do we keep this ourselves? Or no, we've got a new Duke, Duke Eckerhard. Interesting. So he just stays under his, and he's got a Baron underneath us. Count, yes, um, Count Eckbert. They're both Catholic Bavarians, which is interesting. This far south, where about Bavaria is a little bit further north, isn't it? Pretty sure. Oh no, this is apparently part of Bavaria. Okay. Interesting. That's very interesting. But yeah, it's a nice new bit of land that we've got there. We've got two prisoners. Let's have a look. Um, we can get 100 gold for you. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right, yeah, let's just bring our men home. Try and fend off these raiders and then we can disband our armies. It's just this now to take and accept it. 100 gold. Let's see if what we can get for the other one. 25 gold. Beautiful. King Zedislav of Bulgaria was taken prisoner by my master of ships, Duke Alexander, after he won a battle. Okay, why are you fighting Bulgaria? Are you trying to expand your lands into Bulgaria? Oh no, it's just that war for the southern lands of the Byzantine Empire, I think. Is that right? No. Holy war for the Duchy of Vindid. Okay, so we're expanding north. Nice. 
Very nice. So we're going to take this land here in Bulgaria, which is good because it keeps us below that river, which I wanted. Unlike this land that we took that I really didn't want our vassals to take, but unfortunately they took it. How is the war going for Menorca? Let's have a look. 4% in favour of our ally. Maybe we can offer to help out. I had a quick nap earlier today and felt an amazingly refreshed. It's as if I can do anything and everything now. That felt good. We lose 10 stress. Perfect. Let's see if we can offer to help him in this war. No, 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 not arranged marriage, sorry. Um, no, we can't help, that's fine. But it looks like we are going to now take a nice bit of land. Yes, perfect, we've took that bit of Bulgarian land. And how is Harleston doing? 61%. Can we offer to help him in his war? No, we can't. That's fine. But yeah, we've took this bit of land. Who, is he going to keep it for himself, Duke Alexandra? Looks like it. Maybe he can give it to one of his many, many children. Here we go, we can finally disband our armies oh what have we got here ransom yep i accept and igna erickson can marry is this another one of our granddaughters no it's our daughter and scold um is there any point her remarrying really to be honest wow we've got this guy who's a genius who are you he's a lunatic but he's a genius can we invite him to court no can grant him titles. Have we got anything that we could? We haven't even got anything that we could land him, which is annoying. Wow, he's impressive. So annoying that we can't invite him to court. Um, we will marry her to him. Who knows? And you can negotiate an alliance with Chieftain uh, Canute. The Foolish of Alapuja, who's a giant berserker. Yeah, why not? The more alliances, the better. Just got to wait for our truce with you to end so that we can take that last bit of land that we desire. And then it's on to the Byzantine Empire. Uh, to the charming Asbjorn, I accept your marriage proposal. Perfect. You've got to about have this war under wraps. How are you still at 61%? What are you even doing in this war? It's just at a standstill. You're losing manpower. You're allied to the Canary Islands. How did that happen? No idea. He's married to Guillaume's daughter. Interesting. Well, that's an interesting alliance there. Not one that I'd expect to see. But yeah, we want to take this land. Maybe we could attack the Byzantine Empire. They've only got 2,000 men. They are right for the taking. Oh, what's going on in Croatia? Oh, they're just involved in that same war. That's fine. I thought we had another rebellion going on. Well, we could attack the Byzantine Empire and try and take some of these lands. Let's have a look. If we declare war on you... And we can go for the Holy War of the Duchy of Sicily. Oh, it's all the way down there. I don't want that bit. Yeah, we'll go for the uh, Apulia. We'll go for that bit. The Yardum of Bulgaria. That's the rest of the land that we need there. That's a bit of land that they're going for anyway. Yeah, this one. I just want to control the mouth of the, Adri uh, the Adriatic. So if we can take that and then our vassal takes this bit, that's perfect. And then we've got the kingdom that we wanted for now. We can... I don't know. I don't know what we'll do after that. But we'll definitely take this bit of land. Um, we've got more prestige than Pieter. Let's have a look if we were to conquer that duchy. How much would it cost us? Oh, we can actually go for a, a lot more if we go for conquer. But yeah, that's, that's all I want for now. Confirm. Declare war. And then we can rest and we can see where we go from there. You guys can... Help me decide what you think, whether you do that in the comments or in the Discord server. Can't wait to see what you guys say. Um, let's raise all our men here. Perfect. What have we got that we can do? We can create a title, the Duchy of Vidin, which is... Ah, over here. Yes, create title. Lose a bit of gold, gain a lot of prestige. Perfect. Um, who will give that to? I don't know. Obviously, Duke Alexandra has that land. We could just grant hit him and he has an extra land. Gives him more control over that land, which wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, to be honest. Probably would be a good idea to let him have it, actually. Let's do it. The Yardum of Vidin. It's going to get him on side massively as well. He already likes it. That's going to give him an extra 60 opinion. That's going to take him to 100% opinion. Perfect. We've got him fully on side now. It's made him very powerful. But he did take the land, it's only right. I don't think it would have been fair for us to claim it and give it away to someone else. It's only going to cause then conflict between him and whoever, whoever we land there. If we let him have all the land, it's 
going to be easier for him to get under control. Right, let's march on to the Barony of Barry. Um, supply limit. Yeah, we're still slightly over. That's fine. We're going to station besiegers anyway and march on to the next one. I don't think we're going to have to do much yet. And apparently we're dying. We are at death's doorstep. Not already. Not already. That's not what we want. Um, can we search for a physician? See if we can see if they can help us in any way. Maybe just to last a little bit longer. It's too soon for another succession. Let's have a look at the successions. Actually, is our son still winning both? That's the important thing. Vote score. Okay, so he's winning this one by a hundred and. 106 points so he's definitely going to get the kingdom of rome but is he winning the sapphire land one vote score 54 just over our nephew with 37 so yeah if he were to die right now he'd inherit both that's fine I mean, he's quite old himself he's not he's not exactly a spring chicken let's station some besiegers Oh, we can't march on to that yet, so we'll just split the army by you marching there. Court physician, uh, the world is full of dangers, even to a king and his court. As per my request, my servants have inquired after recommendations. Now they have assembled a few options to choose from. We have Floki, who apparently is quite experienced. Wow, yes, he is a renowned physician. And then we have Asta, who seems enthusiastic, if nothing else. No, we'll go for the dear option. We'll go for Floki. And... I don't think we can actually do anything to try and seek treatment, unfortunately. But at least we've got a decent physician now, I suppose. We did need one, really, to be honest. Let's get this under siege. Who have we got leading this army? Is our son free yet? No, he's still involved in the wars with Menorca, I'm guessing. Let's have a look. How's that war going? 51% in favour of him. Perfect. Increased military presence. Perfect. That's the point. Is he actually in proving stuff still no he's not um wow we've got very low control in a lot of our lands um ooh, 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 let's go for yeah this new land here and everyone else is acting on stuff like they should be so that's fine let's just concentrate on the lands of sicily we'll probably get all these lands under siege and if we have to go any further than that we can do And it appears like Holston has lost his war because he's no longer at war. Yeah, it looks like he ran out of gold and manpower before he could break the Byzantine Empire. That sucks. Now we're going to have to go for that land. That's fine. We'll take this bit of land first and then we can go for that afterwards. We could always... Maybe... I wonder if we'll be able to usurp some of these duchies and such down here once we get that out of the way. Hopefully you still win your war. 54%. Yeah, so it looks like you are going to get Menorca, which is good. Sven wouldn't be a bad person to play as in the future, to be honest. He's only 23. And he's got 20 learning, three children. One's got the intelligent trait, one's got the quick trait, and the other one's got the intellect. Wow. He's pumping them out. He would be a very good heir to play as after Striker. Striker's definitely going to win this one, but it wouldn't be bad to play as Sven afterwards. He'd make a very decent one. The son of Asbjorn, uh, the son of Sigbjorn, sorry. He would make a decent option. Um, a secret exposed. A shameful truth has reached the light of day. My granddaughter, Rakissa. Uh, has copulated with her lover. Such things cannot be accepted outside of marriage. Odin will judge them. Um, and, okay, a, conima, a commoner from Latium has brought forward undeniable evidence that my great-grandson, Olafa, was fathered by none other than him. Oh, mother, I am not sure what to say or how to feel. At least it is all out in the open now. Who would have known? So he is actually... Um, Stryker has imprisoned his daughter. Is her son a giant? Yes, he is. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, the scandal. Scandalous. Right, that's about to fall any second now, so we can march onto that barony. We should get there after the siege, which is perfect. The memories remain. Oh, Halla, if you were still with me, I know you would tell me to be strong, that things will get better, and you would be right, as you always were. But first, I must curse and cry. How could I not when you are gone from this world? You'll never be forgotten, old friend. Is that? Yeah, our sister-in-law is his best friend. Interesting, I didn't know that. And we've won, wow, 30 gold from that siege there. That's impressive. Let's march this army around to meet there then, which is a pretty decent stronghold. It's going to be a bit harder to take. And then there's only one or two more baronies down here anyway. Byzantine Empire owns all of this. 
decent prisoners taken in the siege again, which is perfect. Let's march all of our hosts down here then. Move that out of the way for a minute. Perfect. Right. Making acquaintances. Jarl Karl, Jarl Karl, seemed to enjoy our latest feast immensely. He got along quite well with everyone he spoke to, even the adult guests. It never hurts to make friends. Gregor is straight. Wow, he's turned into a pretty decent Jarl, it would seem. And we've been offered a white piece. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to have to decline. That's a sign of weakness that you have just shown me. So I will continue with my war for now. This is going to take a while to siege down, unfortunately. But at least we have a siege leader in control of it. Um, we've got two prisoners that can be ransomed. 50 gold. Beautiful. And the other one's worth 10 gold. But we'll take that. Every little helps. How is the war for Menorca going? 77%. They've almost won. Perfect. Oh, but the... Safir land over here has been split in two, it would seem. They've lost some of the land in North Africa. So our hold fast, our bit of land out there probably isn't going to last that long. I didn't think it probably would. I wasn't overly concerned about taking that land anyway. It's only because, of course, it was already underway. And there we go. King Asbjorn of Safirland has joined the feast in Valhalla at 68 years of age. He died of old age, a man unparalleled prowess. He finally found an opponent that he could not overpower. King Stryker ascends to the throne, a bull-headed man. Stryker's subjects may have a hard time getting a word in after he makes up his mind. Age 50, or son, he's already at war, continue as King Stryker. And right, we've, oh, we've had an alliance expelled. We've been joined straight into several wars. Let's slow things down. Duke Borrell has become Spymaster and can't be sacked for 25 years. I need to get rid of that guy. It's going to be hard to plot to kill your Spymaster though, isn't it? Right, so what have we got at war? So we're attacking the county of Menorca. We, uh, the Zaglumian conquest of the Duchy of... Oh, are we actually in a civil war? Oh no, we're helping out. Ah, he's trying to take that land. Perfect. So one of our vassals have tried to take it for us, which is perfect. So we've not got to worry about that. So, yeah, we're in a good position in all of these wars. Um, Were we leading men over in Aquitaine? I don't think they actually were, were they? I think they're literally just sieging down Menorca by the looks of it. That's good. At least we're going to win that war. Right. We need to select a new council. We've got our wife, uh, wife Queen Sophia. Interesting hat and crown. She's very, very good in stewardship. Uh, if we get her to manage our domain then and improve our stewardship. Chancellor, we'll probably go with the same guy who we've got. Jarl Gunn, who is 21 in that. Yep, we'll stick with him. Steward, let's have a look what we've got. Um, Duke Mordecai of Anacona, yes, definitely. And Marshal, well, we used to be the Marshal, didn't we? We've got Duke Guy, but I don't think that's a good idea. Count Guthrid, Jarl Sigbjörn, um, hmm... I don't want to go with Duke Guy, that's for certain. I've got our champion, but it'd be better to go with a Yarl, wouldn't it? But literally none of them are very good. Hang on a minute, minor titles. No, we don't have Master of Ships. How come we don't have... Oh! Serbia has broken away! Interesting. We'll have to have a look into that. That is interesting. Right, Marshall. We'll just go with whoever is the best one out of our Jarls, um, which is Jarl at Sigbjorn of Kapua. So we'll go with you for now. Um, minor titles, Cupbearer, Jarl Aid, Master of Ships. We'll just go with you. And then Tax Collector. Who do we have for a Tax Collector? Jarl Totil as before. Perfect. We do need to do our lifestyle focus. Of course, it's going to be Marshall because... We're already on that, so we'll just stick with it. Um, we'll go with the authority focus. Perfect. All right, so this is going to be interesting now. Some of this land has split in away from us. Do you not actually belong to it? Yeah, you do belong to us. So, Serbia. King, um, okay, King of Serbia. King Dorda Abjornsson. So, some of the lands have split. That's interesting. We are going to have to try and take that land back at some point. So where does he rule from now? In the north up here. No, that's Jarl Ugbjorn. Oh, they serve this land down in North Africa. Interesting. 
I wasn't expecting that to be made. Right, we're going to have to try and take that back then. We could go to war with him, couldn't we? He's only got 696 men, so um, we'll have to look into that to try and get that back at some point. We'll just have to focus on what we're doing here at the moment. Where are those 677 men going? Up to help in that war. Um, that's probably a good idea, actually. Yeah, we'll leave them to go up there. Right, let's finish this war. Oh, we need to nominate our successor. Let's have a look who's got the most votes so far. Uh, so far, our cousin, who's not overly impressive. Where's Sven? Sven would be the best choice. It doesn't look like he's going to get many votes, but his traits are very impressive. Yeah, he's got no votes whatsoever at present. Um, but you're not great, really, are you? Not part of my dynasty. We will. We won't vote for now, then. We'll take a look at it after we finish this war. Got three family members that can get married. One of our daughters with the giant trait. Um, hmm. Oh, wow, we've got a genius here. No, 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 no. Hang on. One second. Go back a screen. Will that guy be willing to go for that marriage? Yes, he will. Perfect. And they'll be of our dynasty as well. Our daughter, Asta. 32, hunchback. Um, hmm. Doesn't really matter then for you, does it? Let's just go with this guy. And then our daughter. I know we've done Bothilda. Um, our daughter, Svanhilda. 22. Count Arefa of Verbis. He'd probably be good, actually. Get him on side. Perfect. Your counsellor gun died. Gout ridden. Really? Ouch. Does that mean that he now holds both those lands? Yes. Jarl Anilof. Interesting. Ten years old. Let's pin him. Have we unpinned his father? Did I unpin him? No, I didn't. There we go. Unpinned. Um... We can unpin our father as well. Is there any others on here that need unpinning? I don't think there are. I think that's it. No, but everyone hates us, which is a shame. We do need a new Chancellor as well now. Do we have anyone with decent diplomacy? Jarl Efeg Larsen of Zaglumia. Yeah, he's the highest born out of them, so we may as well stick with him. Alliance formed with Count Arefa Flockison of Verbis. Perfect. Finally managed to take this um, Byzantine stronghold down here, thankfully. So now let's march on to this next barony. 4,500 men there, which is insane. Um, this siege isn't going overly well. Wow, is that a... Oh no, that's okay. It's a um, ally army, so we ain't got to worry about that. I really don't know what to do with the election. Kingdom of Romagna. Um, who has the most votes in this? Still the same guy. And Chieftain Canuck the Foolish, our cousin, our cousin... And what about the Kingdom of Saphirland? Who has the most votes for that? The same guy. Not part of our dynasty, though. He's not an Ericsson. We need an Ericsson on the throne. A true Ericsson. So I don't know how we're going to sort that out. Do you know what? We could try and plot to kill our cousin. Let's have a look at him. Um, Ingrid Torreson, Erksman. He's... Pretty decent, though. He only owns Napoli. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to have to have a good think about this stuff off screen and decide what I want to do. What What does Freya Lundra belong to? Oh, no, it is part of our land. It's just because it's involved in that war. And here comes a Byzantine army of 4,000 men. We are going to have to march northward to meet them and crush them. That'll give us enough war score, hopefully, to try and see this war off. We're at 92% in the war for Menorca as well, so that's going to end soon, hopefully. We've got a lot more men than them. We should be able to win this battle here without too much hassle. Yeah, we're going to be able to easily slaughter this. Jarl Sven Sigbjorn of Sardinia has maimed the enemy commander. Perfect. And yeah, there we go. It was a crushing victory. We barely lost any men at all. Person of interest to you, Count Arnfast of Scorderland, was slain in battle. Um, let's... Has he not got a son? No, he hasn't. So we'll pin his oldest daughter. 
and we managed to take a very valuable hostage. Perfect. The memories remain. Oh, Ingfrid, if you were still with me, I know you would tell me to be strong. That things will get better and you would be right, as you always were. But first, I must curse and cry. How could I not when you are gone from this world? Yeah, whatever. Right, clear notifications. We can end this war with the Byzantine Empire. Enforce demands. Perfect, which gives us that bit of land. But it's so annoying that we've now lost Serbia. We're going to have to go and take Serbia. We need to form that empire title before Stryker dies. At least he's got plenty of prestige and piety. So it's very, very likely that we will be able to do that, which is perfect. Right, where do we now send these 5,000 men? We'll send them up here. That'll probably be the best bet because that Menorca war is about to end any second now, which is perfect. We need a better air. We need a better air. Strategical impasse. I'm sitting around the map table with Jarl Bjorn and Jarl Ofeg discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. Bjorn eagerly points out all the prime targets we should immediately send raiding parties to pillage, while Ofeg explains how we need to watch what our foes do and respond accordingly. Uh, it is my right to decide our ultimate course of action. I know how we can employ both strategies. Okay, so we'll sail north to help with this war. I think as soon as that war for Menorca ends, which should be very soon, it's when we'll end the episode and we'll finish this other war in the next episode. I have felt extremely lazy as of late, never wanting to do anything. Today, I don't feel like attending to my official duties, for instance. A nap sounds good. Took a good nap for a year. I think I'll go eat some tasty food. We Oh, we are gluttonous. We lose 11 stress. That would be better. Let's try and lose some of that stress that we've got. Two prisoners that can be ransomed. Let's have a look what we can get for you. 50 gold and 25 gold for you. Perfect. We can create the Duchy of um, Apulia, which we will do. Get us a bit more prestige. And we can look into giving that away to somebody. We've got too many duchies. We'll give it to... Has our son been landed? We've only got one son. No, he hasn't. So let's grant him the... Uh, we can't actually give him anything. Must not. Must hold or receive at least one county together. We don't have the county for that land. So who rules down here at present then? Is there already someone down here? Yes, there is an Orthodox Greek guy. I doubt we'll be able to revoke his titles without being seen as a tyrant. No, we can't. What other Yaldum do we currently own then? Uh, Duchy, sorry, the Kingdom. Uh, kingdom of Venice. Ah, did Venice... Venice didn't go independent, which is interesting. Um, what duchies do we have? Apulia, Latium, and Asby on board. Don't really want to give away any of those. Other than the last one, which we can't give away. Can we give him anything at all? No, we can't. Do you know what? We'll let this Greek guy keep those lands. Hopefully we can get him on side by doing so. Ah, we've already got some of the land. Even better. Who owns this land? Jarl Bjorn of Dubrovnik. And Chieftain Knut the Foolish. Yeah, we'll give it to him then. Give it to Knut the Foolish. There we go. He comes his own Jarl then, which is perfect. Ninety-nine percent in the War of Menorca. All that effort for this little island over here. Hopefully it helps take these other islands. Oh, and Awesome, this is split up. We now have the Sultanate of Valencia, which is interesting. There we go, the war is over. Sven has managed to expand his lands, which is perfect. Well played, Sven. Why are you not being elected? You would be such a good king. I'd love to play as someone not martial for the first time in this series. It would be interesting to have this intelligent guy be the future king. And we've landed our armies here to help. Let's march them onto this barony. But we will sort that out in the next episode. So let's end this one here. Thank you all so much for watching as always, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed. We've got some interesting stuff that has obviously kicked off because of this. We're going to have to try and take Serbia back, which is going to be interesting to say the least. Um, if you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and comment down below. Subscribe too if you haven't already. And I'll see you all very soon for the next episode.